Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Kimberly. I'm just letting you guys have a moment to share this and tag each other. Good morning, Hillary. Let everybody know that we are live this morning at Big Cat Rescue. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deidre. So, this is our Tiger Lake. Just spending some time letting you guys share. Hi, Trina. Good morning, Carol. Hi, Kathy. So, we will begin. <laughs> Hey, Noor. Hey, Lisa. With an empty cage, <laughs> and it won't be empty all day. So this is Duchess's home enclosure. And if you guys have watched her explore camera, even though she's been on vacation, you've seen lots of busy little bees over here. I don't know why the stabilizer seems to never keep my phone anymore. It's always slanted, don't you guys think? Oh, anyway. Hi Chad, hi Suzanne. <laughs> we just got started. So lots of busy volunteers and interns have been taking care of Duchess's home enclosure and that is because in about an hour or so Carol will be in and will be helping Erin give access to Duchess's enclosure to Miss Bria. Gonna walk around the corner and see if we can see Miss Priya. So if you guys want to keep an eye out for that on the Explore cameras, you can find those at bigcatcams.com. Find Tiger Lake. And so what they will be doing is this little safety entrance area will be opened up and locked and clipped appropriately to give Priya access to all of this over here. So, let's see if there's still a Priya. So you guys can watch for her. There's that Priya. There's that Priya and you have red in your mouth. <laughs> She's carrying around her breakfast still. How funny, I didn't know this was gonna be a feeding tour. You stashing that for later? Hi, Bella. Hi, Mary. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Yvonne. You better finish eating that breakfast. That is hilarious. Don. Hi, Chris. Yep, I was definitely my very first stop this morning. I, I never even went to my office. I just drove my car straight to the rehab hospital. Wanted to make sure that uh, Winter, our very newest uh, rehab bobcat, got her, his or her, it has not been official, I don't believe, um, all of the morning medications and food. We really want to shift her out of the crate she's been hiding in, which is why you guys don't see her a whole lot on camera. She's really into being in that crate, so Erin and I might go out a little bit later together and see if two people can get her out. Hey, Marcy. Hi, Kelly. Look at that for you. Isn't she hilarious? She was like, oh my gosh, I better eat this because the cleaners are here. I'm like, I'm not a cleaner. I'm just... <laughs> I was just telling everybody that you were going to get access to next door. So they're going to shift Priya over and actually close her into Duchess's enclosure. And then there's going to be a massive uh, cleanup in Priya's enclosure, which is an acre and a half. So probably going to take several days, if not all week, to get her all spiffied up. Hi! That was hilarious. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Lynn. Good morning, Diana. Make sure that you guys have shared this, please. Hey, Daniel. 
and tag each other. I haven't seen a Deb. Have you guys seen a Deb? Hi, Nicole. So she's currently closed in this uh, roof section so that she'll be easier to shift over later. She's been known to disappear into the middle of her acre and a half enclosure lately. And she takes a nap like the dead. <laughs> yes, she won't wake up for anything. Thank you so much, Chris, for always sharing these. Hi, Sonia. We just watched Priya sneak out her hidden snack. She had it stashed in her den. Hi, Tammy. Good morning. <laughs> She's yelling at Aaron. So Duchess Tiger is still on vacation. You can find her at the same link, bigcatcams.com. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew what was happening with Miss Priya today. So they want, they want Miss Kriya out of this section at some point. Right? You're a wild one, aren't ya? You're a wild one, aren't ya? She couldn't moo with her mouth full, but now, now that she's done. So, yep, when Carol comes in today, they will shift her over, and then all of the work will start over in her enclosure. I saw somebody, I'm sorry I didn't catch the name, but I saw somebody who was bummed about missing Clubhouse on Saturday. We record those now. So, I think mine was the first one that Deb recorded and then put up on our dailybigcat.com YouTube channel. So, you can actually re listen to that. Wow, wow, wow. If you guys don't know Priya's story, it's definitely one of the, um, the most heart-wrenching and the most significant stories here that you could ever learn if you um, have ever thought about paying to play with cubs at roadside zoos or backyard breeders or for photo ops. And that's because Priya spent years being speed bred so that they could take her cubs from her and allow people to play with them and pet them and get their pictures with them. And it caused her some really significant long-term health issues. She was essentially part of a tiger uh, mill. And when she arrived here several years ago, she was ba basically on death's doorstep. Right? So she had to have multiple surgeries, life-saving surgeries, because she had a huge infection basically in her uterus because of all of the breeding. That's a pretty watered down version of her story, but you can learn it on our website. There's all kinds of YouTube videos about our Priya girl. And so when you see her in her acre and a half enclosure here, where we ask absolutely nothing of her <laughs> other than just to, you just gotta eat breakfast when we give it to ya. <laughs> I know, you just gotta eat the food when, you, when you're giving it. So as I said, when I first started this video up, she's patiently, not so patiently waiting because we will be shifting her next door into her neighbor's enclosure while Duchess is on vacation. So bigcatcams.com, you can find the Tiger Lake camera and you will see that happen probably in the next hour or so. But she's our first and only cat we've seen so far. So I'm gonna walk back down to this gate down here. We're walking past where Miss Priya will have access to for at least the next week or so. I don't know if Duchess will be staying in vacation longer than her month or not, but 
I know she's going to be our big game prediction cat again this year and most likely Afton would want to do that with her out in the vacation rotation so back to talking about winter really quickly I uh, <laughs> part of my challenge this morning because I didn't want to actually go into the enclosure she has access to was that she left me a fecal sample, which is great because we want to send that in and get that all checked out. But I had to get it out of the enclosure. She used the litter box, which was awesome. <laughs> I don't think that'll last forever, but she did it. She's not peeing in there. She's peeing everywhere else, but that was very exciting. sure if Running Bear ever used his bed over the weekend. I don't think that he did. It still looks pretty well intact. So we're just going to wander around and see who we can see on this very chilly morning. Oh, yeah, well, he definitely at least smashed it down a little bit more. A couple things have been moved. things have been moved. Let's see, is he in his sunshine spot? Yep, sure is. Hi there, Bear! Did you use your new Betty a little bit? Hi, sir. Hi, mister. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, our Monday face. That's our Monday face. Oldest cat on property, still super fierce. -os. That was very scary. That was very scary. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Yes, I do. No matter how grumpy. No matter how grumpy, we love the running bear. He is so fierce. That was very scary. That was very scary. Such a good boy. So many bobcat things. Yes, you are. I didn't want to block your son, so I had to get a little bit closer, and that made you very angry. Very angry. You are the best boy. You are the best old man. I know. One more step. <laughs> I was stepping back. I know. Not only is it a Monday, it's a very cold Monday. Ridiculous. Are we even in Florida? Are we even in Florida? All right. I don't want to chase you out of your sunshine spot. You enjoy Bear Bear. <laughs> No coffee needed. No coffee needed with that old bear bear. Let's see if we can find Ariel. At least the sun is out today. That's a step up from yesterday. Of course, it's colder today than yesterday. I'm uh, extremely nervous. Tuesdays are usually my volunteer day. But tomorrow it's supposed to be the coldest day so far and raining and I'm like that's like a total recipe for me to get pneumonia so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Let's see. Oh there she is. I had a feeling she was gonna adopt this. 
platform. Let's see if he's in here. Nope, he's not in there. There's Miss Ariel. Let's go out and around her. Hi, Ariel. Look at you up there. <laughs> that look. She was like, I can't believe you found me. Hi, baby girl. A good area. What a very good area. Look at that bobcat tail. So, if you guys have joined in late, we saw Priya, very chatty. Obviously, Running Bear, very chatty. Now we've got Miss Ariel. Her tail is very chatty. That tail is very chatty. Yep, she's definitely utilizing this platform, so that's good. Miss Ariel, her dancing tail. Miss Ariel. So cute. Oh, you're dusting leaves off your platform. <laughs> Get all those leaves and sticks off there. My goodness. My goodness. So, yep, she has discovered that this is a very fun platform. First thing in the morning, especially because it is in full sun. So, that is exciting. I want to see if. I don't think Tut wasn't in his little house earlier, but. Oh, he's not. He's over there. The other side basking in the sun. Mr. Tutters. But we got to see Tut enjoy his super cute Pac-Man house that Jane made him. You can see it's getting well loved. All the tissue paper inside is definitely smashed down. He's using the corners of it to rub against, which is helpful when it comes to mats. <laughs> So I promised Beecher we'd come see him. I feel like I didn't get to give him much attention last week. Let's see if there's a Loki out. Nope. Or a Mrs. maybe. Mrs. is probably very warm in her barrel right now. Hi, honey. Hi, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. Mrs. Beecher. Hi, Beach Boy. Where? I know, handsome. Oh, <laughs> that was very ouchy. That was very ouchy of you. You'll need to rewatch yesterday's walkabout if you want to see Max Tiger. That he was featured all day yesterday on our Instagram and our Facebook page for his 12th birthday. And of course, all he gave us was his foot and part of his face. <laughs> but I am nowhere near Max today. I'm on the other side. I try my best. We've got 44 permanent residents here. Several of which are these hybrids like Savannah cats like Beecher and King Tut. They are man-made. They're not naturally occurring in the wild. They're basically 
bread for people's egos so that people can say they have an exotic cat. Generally, they breed like African servals with domestic house cats, hoping that they're going to be tameable like a house cat, which I always remind people, my house cat will still bite the heck out of you randomly. <laughs> so domesticate is a, uh, a very light <laughs> description of cats. You also don't own cats, they own you, but when they've got wild blood, such as a serval or any kind of exotic cat like that, generally they come out looking rather plain looking and very, very wild, very aggressive, very destructive, which is why Beecher had been fully declawed. They were hoping that would make him less destructive. He became a biter instead. His previous owner paid over $10,000 for him, spent another over $10,000 just trying to add on in addition to her house, hoping that it would calm him a bit. It did not. Last resort, thankfully for him, was coming to an accredited sanctuary where people like you donating and sponsoring these cats were able to give them a forever home. Right, bud? Say hybrids. Bad idea, not a pet. Right? Yeah. We have Diablo, we have Loki, we have Beecher, we have King Tut, and we still receive calls and get asked all the time about what people should do. You should look at other accredited sanctuaries and see that more than not they're being overrun by hybrids. It's just a bad idea. It's, it's a greedy, bad idea for the people that are breeding them, in my personal opinion. Oh my, what you doing in there? What you doing in there, silly? Where? No Monday report? Meow! Ah uh, yes, I cannot forget about Mouser. Mouser's our neediest hybrid here. <laughs> Hence why he's living in the kitten cabana on medication, has his own food area. Extremely difficult. I don't, the average person to afford having a hybrid is not likely. Let's see if there is a Loki. It's awfully cold. Let's see if he's tucked in his den. He is, I can't see him. If he is, I don't see him in there. He might be on the other side. He's got a den that has a heating pad in it. Don't know, have I shown you guys Frankie and his new expansion, which is basically the enclosure that Gilligan was in? Here's a Flinster. Hi, buddy. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, cuteness. Look at that tail. sweetheart. <laughs> you and them long legs. You and those long legs. You and those long legs. Hi, Bubba. You been the welcome wagon for Frankie across the street? 
heard that Frankie's been pretty interested in Flint, has not really paid any attention to Smalls, but I also haven't been able to go over there and see how they react to seeing each other. So, that's what we will do. So, Frankie now has this whole front half. I think he still mostly hangs out in the back part of his enclosure, but he likes to chase golf carts, which is not great. <laughs> so everybody has to kind of go slower around this area now. Don't want him in that habit. Cleaners out. Where's Frankie? Where's that Frankie Bob? He's over there. Will you come over here? Frankie. So this safety entrance that's always been closed that he keeps walking by <laughs> is wide open so he can come over here if he wants. Hey Frankie. Hi Bud Bud. Come here. Come here and see me. He's like, but that's not part of my morning routine. His morning routine is still over on that side. Because that is still where he's eating, is in that eating lockout over there. Hi, mister. There he is. Hi, cutie pies. Hi, cutie pies. Are you settling in okay? Are you settling in okay? Yeah? Have you met Smalls yet? Have you met that girl yet? You guys have to start a TV show. Yeah, Frankie and Smalls show. What do you think? What do you think? Have you met that girl yet? Do you want to come see her? Do you want to go see her? See if she comes over? I don't know. I don't know how she feels about you either. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. I personally don't think Gilligan misses anything about any other person or cat. <laughs> I just think he's a very unique um, cat that doesn't so much like change, but does adapt to it. But I don't think he has any issue about seeing another cat. I think it doesn't matter to him either way. If he sees them, whatever. If he doesn't, whatever. <laughs> right? <laughs> what you doing, cutie? What's that cutie boy doing? What's that cutie boy doing? It's very warm over here, isn't it? It's so much warmer over here. All this direct sun. But do I think Gilligan's struggling to adjust? Yes, very much so. I know he's exploring at night. Oh my goodness. Definitely exploring at night more than during the day, but yesterday I did see him on the fire hose hammock, which was pretty cool. I know he's gone up on the platform and he wanders around in the big section. He unfortunately is back to struggling to be going to the bathroom regularly, so we've upped his lactulose. He's also being a little finicky when it comes to food in general right now. Where's my small girl? I'm trying to call her over here while he's over. Being so cute. Being so cute. Him is being so cute.
So Gilligan has been eating every day, so I definitely don't want anyone to think he's just straight up not eating, but he's just not eating consistently. And he's only eating for certain people sometimes, and it's just definitely off his routine. But I know Carol really wanted him in a cage with a camera so everybody could see him. So I'm hoping that he gets adjusted, right? Look at that cute boy. Look at that cute boy. Has anybody ever seen a cuter boy? Where's that girl at? Well, Kathy, um, most of the big cats don't mind the cold at all, except for, of course, our hybrids. The hybrids are picky about absolutely everything, including the environment. Bobcats tend to really love it. The servals, eh, they don't love it. I mean, they're, they're adaptable as well, but they're not, they're not nearly as excited. The tigers seem to really, really enjoy it. Jinx, our leopard, and our jaguar. Neither of them seem to be like super thrilled, but they're doing just fine. But the bobs really like it. They get super fluffy, super playful. Right? Are you not the sweetest? Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Look at all those razor sharp claws and teeth. Cute. It's like this horrible trick that the <laughs> yes horrible trick look how cute my belly is and look at all these murder mittens look at these murder mittens on me you guys see those claws yeah it is why we don't touch it is dangerous it's disrespectful never want to put him at risk or me at risk because we can have this special little bond that we have right here and no one needs to touch each other, right? Because I bring you food and treats and snacks and toys and I talk to you like every day, right? It is ridiculous to think that I have to pet him or touch him or snuggle him in order for him to know that I love him, he knows. And I don't have to do anything stupid or dangerous. People that want to touch wild animals, it's definitely an ego-driven need that I get it. Everybody's had that need in their lifetime. I even understand people who have done cub petting, but once you learn better, you need to start doing better. And we can help these cats in many, many ways. And it doesn't include us having to touch them or paying to see them locked up in a cage. So there's always gonna be a need for sanctuaries though, as long as people are breeding them in cages. Right? So cute. Should we go see the other girl though? I'm gonna leave you here in the sun. Let's see if we can get this girl. Where's Smalls? Where's Small Girl? Probably also in the sun somewhere. Small Girl! It's very cold. Where are you? Oh, hi, honey. Hi, cute girl. Did you meet that boy neighbor yet? Talk about handsome. Talk about handsome. What do you think? Have you met him? You guys been hanging out at all? What do you think?
thanks for marking that ball instead of me. I really appreciate it. Where are you going? You can see this tiny meow, it's cricket. Where'd you go? She went all the way down into her favorite section. <laughs> no, she's waiting on me to follow her to her favorite section. What are you doing? Something about this last bubble. She just loves rolling around in it. Hi, sweetheart. What do you want to show me? What are you showing me? What are you showing me? <laughs> I know what that chin rub means. It usually means if you don't move back, I'm probably going to smack your camera. Stabilizer can't even keep up. So I've always laughed because Smalls was the very first cat here to ever constantly point her butt at me. And so many people had reached out to me and told me that that's a sign of trust and affection with cats and that when they do that they fully trust you and um there's like a pheromone so they're like claiming you and marking you as their own of course they will actually pee on you to do that as well oh my goodness what are you doing and it was years before she ever actually really did pee on me <laughs> doing that. Otherwise, I've just been told that she just trusts me and has chosen me. And now, six years later out here at the sanctuary, I have numerous cats that point their butt at me. You've already seen like three or four other butts today. <laughs> so, you want to go see that boy? You see if Frankie's still down there? Right? Cats mark their territory by um, peeing on things, scratching things, rubbing on things. They have scent glands all over their bodies, but a lot on their, like their chin, face area, their feet. So when she's rubbing and rolling all over everything, she's marking her territory. It's the same thing as if you've come home from work or the grocery or school or something and you set your stuff down on the floor or wherever and your cat just rubs all over it and puts their face on everything. They are reclaiming their territory now that you're home. Right? And these cats do the same thing, just in a different way. Since we don't touch them, they mark their enclosure, their toys. What are 
do you think? You want to walk all the way down and see if Frankie's still here? He might have gone back to the other side. Oh, nope, he's still there. Hi, buddy! You see this girl? She's still down there by her Christmas tree. Hi, sir! I think you guys will make friends eventually. that you'll you'll make friends eventually oh there we go now we see each other smalls is on our walkout frankie's like Ooh, who's that boy who's that boy like no thanks bye no thanks did you see her and then she ran from you <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to blossom a romance here. Oh. <laughs> I really want these two to like each other. Oh, he likes her. I know he does, but she's, she's just she's like, not no, him the time no, him. she's not. <laughs> uh, like, watch my sass tail leave. Watch that sass tail leave. Good. Thanks, Suzanne, for letting me know that winter is eating. That was helpful. Very helpful. All right, sir. All right. I can't show Flint and not Nabisco, so I'm going to cross the street. Okay? Yeah, okay. I know. I miss you, too. I'll miss you, too. Well, she's still over here interacting with her toy, so... It's not like she refuses to come into this section. Do you see that boy? Do you see that boy? It doesn't even have to be a romance. I just want it to be a friendship. <laughs> Whoa! Is he getting you? You guys have zoomies together. That'd be fun. Let's see. So we will search for Nabisco, and if I can find him, he will be our last cat. He might be in his den. I think he gets to be like the fluffiest bobcat here, but he doesn't love it. Okay, not in here. She's still curious. She's like, oh, hey. Oh, I roll around under this platform. Are you showing off? Are you showing off? <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, let's see. I have a feeling he's in this den. Because he's not out on the platform and he wasn't in the other den. And he doesn't hear hardly at all, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him out of the den. Nibisco! Nibisco! Nope. Unfortunately, this big den here, this, all of this under here is a den doesn't have a little window, so I can't peek it. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's the biscuit. Perfect. So this is Nabisco. So we've seen a couple of bobcats. You can see how they all look so, so different. They range in size and coloration and floofiness and spots based on where they come from in the U.S. Bobcats are so amazing. They can be found all over the United States except for Hawaii. Our northern bobcats are much lighter in color, less spotty, usually much bigger, much fluffier. They can handle the winters, can be in snowy regions. 
whereas a uh, bobcat like Flint is a native Florida bobcat, so you see how he's much lankier, tall and skinny, very spotted, very dark in color. He's like, I need my snuggle buddy. Flint and Nabisco live together, but they are separated for feeding time because we never ever want the cats to feel like they have to fight or compete for food or space or toys. Anytime they get treats or toys or enrichment, they're separated until we know that they're not going to be aggressive about it. Well, if you guys came in late, we've been live for quite a while. We started with Priya Tiger and we are now here with Nabisco. We've seen quite a few bobcats, hybrids. You're definitely going to want to rewatch to hear what Priya and Running Bear have to say. So you can rewatch this at dailybigcat.com. You can go to bigcatcams.com and find any of our live streaming cameras. So you can keep up with Winter Bobcat or Priya moving. I really, really appreciate any and all donations that came in during this live. And if you haven't sponsored any cats in January yet, you still have time. You can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. You can sponsor any of our cats at any level, including our rehab bobcats being rehabbed for release back into the wild. And you will be entered in a drawing at the end of each month. It'll go on all year long. So make sure you guys have done that. You can sponsor one or you can sponsor all 44, which we've had at hand the now six Bobcats. We're gonna have to get winter added at some point. I don't even know if we've got any decent photos of her yet, but I'm sure somebody does. So again, thank you guys very much for joining me today. I very much doubt there will be a live tomorrow, just even just due to the weather, but um, we'll see. <laughs> you never know around here. Thank you guys. I hope you have a great start to your week and everybody's happy and healthy. Stay warm. And we will let you guys have one last little Zen moment with Biscuit here.